Welcome to Godly Play. This is the Faces of Easter, parts one through five. Are you ready? In the beginning, a baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. Listen to those words again. God chose Mary to be the mother of God, and the word of God was born a wordless child. When Jesus looked up into the face of the mother Mary, the cross was already there. When he looked up into the face of the father Joseph, the cross was there too. Mary and Joseph kept the baby warm, fed the baby, and gave the baby everything he needed to grow. And he grew. He grew and he grew until he was a boy. When Jesus was about 12 years old, he went with his mother Mary and his father Joseph and many others from the town of Nazareth into the holy city of Jerusalem for one of the high holy days. After the celebration, they left to go home to Nazareth. As they were walking, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus was not with them. They thought he had been playing with the other children as they were walking. They rushed back to the city of Jerusalem and they looked everywhere. They looked in the dark and narrow streets. They looked in the markets where they had bought their food. They looked where they had spent the night. They even looked in the temple, and there Jesus was. He was talking to the rabbis and the priests. And when he spoke, they listened because he knew so many things. And when they spoke, he listened because he wanted to learn more. When Mary and Joseph found him, they asked him the question that all parents ask children that they can never answer. My son, why have you done this? And then Jesus said something very strange. He said, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? Mary and Joseph did not understand. Their house was in Nazareth, where Joseph's carpentry shop was. They did not understand, but they did not forget. Jesus grew into a man of about 30 years old, and he went down to the River Jordan where his cousin John was baptizing people. Can you see John? This is just the back of his head. John was a wild man. Jesus waded into the water where John was baptizing people, and he looked at John and he said, baptize me. John looked at Jesus as if for the first time. He said, I can't baptize you. You are the Messiah. Baptize me. Jesus said, no, it is written that you will come before me and you will baptize me. So Jesus went down into the darkness and chaos of the water. And when John lifted him back up, there were people there that day that said they saw a dove come down from heaven and come very close to Jesus. There were others there that day that said, they heard a voice that said, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he left the River Jordan and went into the desert to discover who he was and what his work would be. Jesus was in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. There 
as little food or water in the desert. One day, Jesus heard a voice and it said, See that stone over there? Turn it into bread so you will have something to eat. Jesus said, No, to be fully human is to need more than bread to live. Then it was as if he were on top of a high temple in Jerusalem. And the voice came back and it said, If you are truly the Son of Man, why don't you, son, if you are truly the Son of God, why don't you jump from here and see if God will send the angels to catch you before you hit the stones below? Jesus said, No, our God does not need to be tested. Then it was as if Jesus could see all the kingdoms of all the world. And the voice came back and said, Follow me, and you will be the king of all the kingdoms. Jesus said, No, I am to be king, but not that kind of king. Jesus left the desert to begin his work. to do his work. But what was his work? Jesus' work was to come close to people. See this blind man? Jesus has come so close to him, so close that he has put his hands on his eyes to make him see. When Jesus came close to people, they changed. They saw things they could never see before. They became well. Jesus also told many parables. Then Jesus knew it was time for him to become a parable. So Jesus left for Jerusalem for the last time.